Hello, Ashita. Welcome to your PDF. Let's start uh, your snap and control systems for your DRDO. What is error, ma? Error is desired uh, output minus uh, actual uh, means uh, whatever uh, means uh, desired uh, input minus output we can say error means whatever is desired and whatever we are actually getting the difference between okay what are the causes of error uh, the configuration uh, configuration not the uh, means uh, uh, like uh, configuration is not matching uh, like for example if we take a type 1 system okay, okay huh, but if we are uh, using a parabolic okay for it so it will give uh, infinity means uh, the error like this. so you are uh, giving the answer for error or steady state error Steady, steady state error. My question was about error. Instantaneous error. Yes. So why we are uh, finding steady state error? Uh, sir, because once the uh, once after the settling time is crossed, we need to see ki it whether it has achieved the value or not, whatever we wanted. Okay, so okay. if it is if it is de uh, means uh, deviated or very much high, uh, then it is a problem. Okay, see, uh, let's for example, I have a type one system. I am hmm. giving ramp input. Hmm. Comment on its steady state error. And you are giving ramp input. Yes. Hmm. Steady state error, no? Yeah. One second. Finite. Okay. Hmm. Means it's a non zero value. Finite, non zero value, right? Yes. I want that error to make exactly equal to zero. What's the solution for that? This error want is as zero. Yes. Hmm. Uh, we can add one pole. Okay. Yes, we can. Uh, uh, we can add. We can. Uh, what we can do is we can add one. We can make the system as type two. How? Okay. We can add one pole. It means uh, we can uh, add k by um, one by s in the. Transfer function in the. You are adding pole to what function? What transfer function? To the open loop transfer function or to the closed loop transfer function? To the open loop transfer function. Then what happens? Yes. Uh. Huh. If we add a pole, then uh, we will get uh, the value of kv as infinite, and the steady state error as zero. Okay. So how to design a pole? to design a pole we can uh, con uh, we can uh, integral integral control controller we can okay yeah we need to say with help of integral control we can get a pole ha huh, yes okay See, for the sake of uh, making steady state error exactly equal to zero, we are connecting one uh, open loop pole. We are connecting one pole at origin. Pole at okay. origin. To the open loop transfer function. Yes. Does it is providing any side effects? Yes, because adding a pole means uh, we are, uh, means the root locus is shifting towards the right hand side. Of S plane, so it means that uh, we are some uh, amount of stability is reduced. Okay. And uh, yeah, I mean, speed of response is more. Uh, and speed of uh, response is more. So uh, sorry, speed of response is less. Uh, settling time is more. Okay. 
Can you comment on the bandwidth of system, whether it will decrease or increase with uh, this addition of four light horizon? Bandwidth of the system, yes. Uh, bandwidth of the system will increase because will I, increase. Uh, I'm not sure, sir, for this. Fine. What is root locus? Yes, sir. sir. Root locus is the path which is traced by the closed loop poles while we are varying the system gain from k is equals to zero to infinity. Root locus is movement of closed loop poles or open loop poles? Closed loop poles. Okay. What is inverse root locus? <sighs> Inver ha, in, uh, sorry. Ha, inverse root locus is like in root locus, we uh, generally say that k is greater than zero in negative feedback. Uh, in inverse root, root locus, uh, maybe uh, k. Uh, just a second, sir. One minute, can I just answer in one second? Yes, please. Yeah. Ha, uh, inverse root locus may, may, uh, can be two conditions, whether negative feedback and k is less than zero, or one condition may be that positive feedback and k is greater than zero. Okay. Yeah. What is the need of sketching root locus? Yeah. So, uh, sir, because with the value of k, we get to know where our minds, where our poles are shifting. Okay. Like we get to know the nature of the system. Ki means uh, which for which value of k we have uh, we have poles at imaginary for which value of k it is going in unstable. For that and, one, you can use directly this uh, RH criteria. That is enough, no? Yes, but uh, RH criteria doesn't it? Huh, it is, but it won't tell ki what is the exact location. What will you do by knowing the exact location of pole? We can, uh, if we know the location, we can calculate characteristics. Uh, whether we can calculate what, uh, what characteristics you are going to get if you know the exact location of pole uh, we can get uh, like for a second order system we can uh, calculate uh, we can calculate rise time and the maximum peak overshoot and uh, these all specifications we can get if we know the value of uh, the po uh, the exact points exact poles okay and let me give you feedback, uh, Ashita. Yes. Okay. So overall, it is good, but uh, for one question, two questions, uh, your answer is not uh, matching. See, with the introduction of uh, a pole at origin, the bandwidth will decrease. You, see, you said that uh, settling time will increase. Yes. If time response caps are increasing, obviously bandwidth will decrease. Mm -hmm. And uh, Definition of root locus and inverse root locus, you got confused yeah. there. Root locus means either it is positive feedback or negative feedback, we have to vary the gain k from zero to infinity. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Root okay. locus means k is from zero to infinity. It may be positive uh, feedback or negative feedback. Inverse okay. root locus means we have to vary the gain k from minus infinity to zero. Oh, okay. Yes, I thought so. I was confused. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. That's all. But still, uh, your improvement is required uh, in yes, terms sir. of analysis and uh, the way you are answering. Okay. Yes, sir.